Well, welcome back to Nittany Game Week. We're moving closer to the holiday season. Let's hope the Rose Bowl experience will be merry and bright for everyone that heads out to Pasadena. There's a football game at the end of the celebrations in Cali. Coach Paterno, Coach Bradley, the opponent is Utah. Back-to-back -back 12 Pac-12 champs. It's time to figure out how to beat the Utes. Well, we're just in the embryonic stages <laughs> of the game planning as we go. So we're going to gotta give a brief... Uh, history of a brief overview of what's going on with Utah what you need to know just some basic stuff so let's talk about Kyle Whittingham their coach he was the WAC defensive player of the year the Western Athletic Conference the forerunner of the mid uh, the Mountain West when he played he's two at one New Year's six bowl games and with wins in the Fiesta and he's three and oh against Michigan so maybe after this game huddle with uh, Utah a little bit to find out what he's got um, but a great system, great program, what he's done there. And if you look at two, since the Pac-12, four division titles, two conference titles, six and six versus top ten teams. How do they do it, Tom? Longevity. You know all about this. Well, here's the thing. That's that staff. They've been together for how many years? 122 years or some total of guys working together. That makes a big difference as you game plan and start going through because you, you guys have cohesion. Yeah, and they know what each other's thinking. And five of their guys, so their assistant coaches, played at Utah, so a total of 140 years when you add in the playing years at Utah. So they know what's going on. So let's talk a little about Penn State's bowl history. Uh, some really good, really do, We go west of the Mississippi for a bowl game. We do really, really well. Take a look at it. West of the Mississippi, 14, excuse me, 15, 4, and 1. And one guy really did well, Tom. Yeah, Coach Paterno, he was 13 and 1 in bowl games west of the Mississippi. And 14 and 5 in the Big Five bowls as well. Um, let's take a look now as we get into the program similarities with these two teams. The AARP eligible quarterbacks, that's people over 50. Uh, Sean Clifford was born <laughs> in 1998. Cameron Rising from Utah was born in 1999. And then when you look at the turnover margin, Tom, almost identical. And when you look at interceptions in the secondary 12 each. So let's talk about the two quarterbacks because that's where it starts. These guys both are mobile. When they scramble on third down, you know they, you better have eyes on him and come up and play him. The other thing is they both can take a hit too. Yeah, what you're going to see here in a minute. <laughs> and when we say take a hit, we mean take a hit. And, you know, you're going to see two plays here and neither guy came out of the game. Now the ball went backwards. They stopped him on four, uh, third down. That you got to rally the ball. So let's take a look at Utah's quarterback, Cameron Rising, born in 1999. He's going to party like it's 1999, hopefully not against Penn State. But again, when he scrambles, Penn State's going to have to stay in their rush lane and force him to scramble uh, sideline to sideline, and then the defense can rally, and you'll see that's what happens with USC. And Tom, you mentioned well, taking a hit. The, listen, here's taking a hit right here, but one of the things these guys, they're not, they're just, they, they'll go anywhere to scramble, inside, outside. You better know where they are. And they're not sliding. He got up, and his teammate asked him how he's doing. He says, I'm fine. So th these guys can take a hit. Now, last but not least, we talk about the turnovers. And how do you get turnovers, Tom? Defenders drop, react, and swarm, as you talk about. Go to the ball. Run to the ball. That's right. one of the biggest things in football. Nothing's good. To get, the further away from your ball, the nothing can happen. Yeah, you and you'll get see on ball. this play, Penn State had a, did a great job with turnovers this year. Great job creating points off turnovers this year, and that may be one of the things that's going to have to happen. That's the old scoop and score drill right there. The old scoop and score drill, and Penn State may need a couple of those in this game to get Utah off track and have a chance to win this. So, Todd, having a chance, Todd always gives us a chance to win. All right, we're going to scoop and score it some more. Thank you, coaches. Our impact interview this week is famous for scoring a touchdown on the number one play in NFL history, the former Nittany Lions and Steelers running back, is also not afraid to step up to the mic and belt out a song. We showed this in week one of our season. It's like MTV back in the day. Franco Harris on the Happy Valley crew is probably our most requested video. Backup singers and dancers, if you can call it that, are some of his teammates when he played for the Nittany Lions. Great time had by all on the cruise. And the Happy Valley Cruise sails again this June. You can find out more information on the cruise and how you can win a free cabin for this year's trip to Bermuda at our website, nittanygameweek.com.
Time to take a break. When we come back, our impact interview with Franco. The Steelers and NFL are about to honor him for the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception. We'll talk about the anniversary and his charitable efforts when we return. More Nittany Game Week after this.